Hello and welcome, I'm Bert the Stormtrooper and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers War for Cybertron Siege Deluxe Class Sideswipe and I love this toy. Originally released in November of 2018, he is a Deluxe Class figure and originally retailed for approximately $20. I found mine at Ross for eight, so I was very happy to pick him up for that price. And as you can see here, um, Sideswipe is a very reminiscent, kind of futuristic Cybertronian, Cybertronian version of uh, the Sideswipe that we know and love. Uh, back to his red Lamborghini form, and I love the way this looks. Obviously, it's not a Lamborghini, it's a Cybertronian interpretation, I guess, of what a Lamborghini would look like. Uh, before they came to Earth and even knew what a Lamborghini was. So <laughs> it's very, very cool. Here in vehicle mode, he is approximately five inches long and very low profile at about one inch right here. Very cool figure. He comes with a couple of accessories. He comes with these two weapons. And it's kind of like a little launcher deal there. Let's see if I can get that focused in. Come on, focus for me. There you go. So you got kind of like this little launcher deal. And then you've also got this little gun missile looking thing, uh, which of course you can combine these together. And uh, then you can tap that onto his shoulder later on to mimic his uh, missile launcher on his shoulder. So that's very cool. Now you can use these five millimeter pegs and peg them in right here at the top of the vehicle. If you want to get them in attack mode, there you go. You got that for an attack mode, which yeah, you know, I'm not a fan of that. I just rather set this aside anyway. There you go. You're going all the way around on the vehicle. Very nice details, mostly reds and blacks. I love that they painted the wheels silver. That's something that I had missed on Transformers. Uh, was all the little silver detail. Look, the headlights are painted silver. Nice Autobot symbol right there on the hood. The wheels painted silver. Just That is just such a plus for me. Makes this vehicle look so, so nice. And of course, if you have the Fire Talks 3D um, parts, you can take these and peg them in here to give them a wing, which is my preferred uh, way of showing them off because I just think that looks perfect right there. He really did kind of need the wing and uh, Fire Talks uh, fixed that for us. So that looks amazing. And then of course you also got, if you got the wings, you also got these two little guns, uh, which can peg into the front here. If you want to give them an attack mode again, which is not kind of my thing, but if you want to do it, you can do that, and then you can pop these in here. And there you go, you got yourself an attack side swipe right there. And of course, you can take these and paint them, you know, any color you want. But I usually um, don't leave these um, just because these um, these have square pegs specifically meant for the back of the vehicle, and then the tabs for the shoulders. He can't really hold these in his hands, so I typically just leave these put away, and I just leave the uh, the wing on the vehicle which will carry over. I'm actually gonna leave it on because it carries over the robot just fine. So there you go. Uh, and real quick, for comparison, here he is next to G1 Sideswipe. So you can see the similarities, see how they compare next to each other. They look really, really nice together. This was just absolutely my favorite car growing up. A red Lamborghini Countach was my favorite car ever. And I think it kind of still is. It's kind of like my dream car. I know it's not very uh, practical of a car, <laughs> but... Uh, just still, I just still love that car. So there you go. That's what these guys look like together. And getting in the transformation, it's going to be relatively simple for the looks figure. Uh, let's see. We're going to start right here at the bottom, or rather at the sides. Let's take what would be the side doors here. And we're going to unpeg them. There's a tab right there that's pegged into the side of the forearm. So we're going to unpeg those. And then we're going to take these panels down here in the back of the car. That's one thing about this vehicle, by the way, that I should have probably mentioned is that there's not a whole lot of robots showing. Again, if you got this in full robot or car mode, not a whole lot of robots showing. So if this thing flips over and you don't know what it is, really. No, no telling that it's a transformer. So that's very cool. So anyway, we took those, we popped those off. We took these panels and we're gonna pop these open. Very tight tolerances. Okay. And now we're gonna be able to take the legs and completely rotate them around and turn them at the waist. Come around to the front, we're gonna take the, um, if you take it right here and bend them at the knees like such, watch these little panels right here. If you bend it forward, it's gonna push those panels in, which you want for the knee articulation, but then also that's gonna take the feet and push them forward. So you, now you can take the feet, pop these forward, close these back up and separate these. And there you go, there's the legs pretty much all done. Take the uh, sides right here, these are gonna be the arms, these are gonna pop straight out. And they're going to actually click into place, like so. 
and then move them up and out of the way so that you can take these doors and push them back in. Take the fists, pop these out, straighten out the arms and bring them down. Finally, take this front of the uh, under the hood here, pop this straight up and then that's going to let you bring the entire hood down. There are tabs that are going to pop in. I thought, yeah, I thought there was a tab right there that's going to peg in down here. Like so. And there is Sideswipe in his robot mode. And in robot mode, he is approximately five inches long. Again, so not a whole lot of difference there in the um, height. Now you can bring in his two weapons and he can hold one in each hand, just like so. And there you go, that's something that you can do. <laughs> if I can get him to hold it, come on. And the little tab looks kind of cool because it kind of looks like a magazine or a clip there on the side. So that kind of works. Uh, but of course, we all know what we came here for. So we can take the weapons and we are going to combine them. Now what you're going to want to do here is rather than leaving the two pegs facing down is you're going to want to turn this so that this tab is facing down. And he's got these slots right here next to his head on his shoulders there. And you can go ahead and tab it in there. And there you go. There is Sideswipe looking really nice. Again, I really love the way this figure looks. Very, very minor gripe is that the chest, if you look at them straight on, and I'll try to angle that for the camera, just straight dead on, uh, the chest does come up a little high. You can see if maybe if you look at it sideways, where the chest piece, the hood piece here, just comes up to about mouth level. So it does cover up his face just a little bit. It's a minor gripe because usually with posing, if you pose him just right, he looks okay. As you can see right there, uh, you know, uh, just, just posing is going to make him look okay. And of course, you got a little bit of hollow uh, forearms right there because transformation where the arms were kept. Uh, but yeah, he looks really nice. The detail on the face looks really, really nice. And just going all the way around. I mean, he is absolutely... And you know, for a siege figure, one of the things I like about this being a siege figure is that it does not have a lot of that cruddy paint, that scratched up muddy paint. Uh, he's got a little bit here on the shins, on the black parts. He's got that like that metal wash there on the on the shins and on the waist piece here which actually looks kind of natural it doesn't look overdone and it doesn't affect the vehicle mode the vehicle mode looks really nice and the robot mode overall also looks very nice i really like the detail paint on this guy one of the things that really turned me off about siege figures was that the way that it was overdone that dirty paint i just really didn't like it but there you go um articulation wise his head is on a ball joint he can move up and down just a little bit he is limited by the uh, joints there on the shoulder and of course you can move all the way around and, and you know as you can see if you have this on here it's going to hinder you but yeah if you take it off you can see up and down and side to side and tilt side to side so he's got all of that put this back on shoulders can go forward and backwards all the way around and they can go in and out rotate at the bicep and a bend 90 at the elbow nothing at the wrists the waist can rotate and then the legs can go forward and backward at the hip. They can go in and out. Uh, they can also rotate right there at the thigh. And then you've got to bend at the knee. And then, of course, you have quite a bit of ankle toe for those gymnastics poses. So there you go. Very, very nice figure. I really do like this figure a lot. Again, a lot of these Siege figures I skipped out on when they were first in stores because... Um, I'm just kind of trying to limit what I'm purchasing, number one. And number two, again, with the whole paint thing and $20 deluxes. And, you know, it, it, it just started getting a little too pricey. So I kind of started getting a little pickier about what I bought. But finding these at Ross for seven or eight bucks, yeah, absolutely, I'm picking it up. And this was a fantastic pickup. It's a really, really nice figure. So if you find this figure, go ahead and pick it up. Uh, real quick, again, for comparison, here he is with G1 Sight Swap. So you can see what they look like together, the similarities, the differences, how they stack up. To each other and again very very nice update to this figure i think this is a fantastic figure this is a really 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 awesome update and i hope that they give us kind of like the smoke screen uh treatment and give us an earth version of side tribe i would like to see that in earth rise or in um, the next series that's coming uh, kingdom or or something upcoming i would like to see an earth version of this figure done because that's just really very really nice I think I'm going to leave these two together for the outro, and I think that about does it for Transformers or for Cybertron Siege Sideswipe. What did you think of this figure? Let me know by leaving me a comment down below. Give me some thumbs up. Subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you're notified when I upload a new video. I got that donate button up there. If you want to hit on it, I would appreciate it.
share with your friends if you like what you see and i'll talk to you next time